if I'm backing up my Kubernetes cluster used in casting K, aren't I backing up automatically the data outside of the Kubernetes cluster? Isn't it stateless? Why Why do I need it? Yeah, so the, there is a, a myth to debunk here in that, so Kubernetes, when it first started, was very much a stateless, stateless play, right? It never really handled storage very well, so you wouldn't really contend and put your data anywhere near it. But over the last, I would say over the last four or five years, where we've had the growth around the CSI driver and actual bringing storage capabilities within the cluster, it's now a mature cloud native deployment pattern to put your storage, put your databases inside of your cluster because they're right next to your application. They're going to give you a lot more control and the performance of that. But what we are also seeing is that trend around, so Amazon have their RDS. There's a lot of PaaS-based data services as well, RDS, DynamoDB, even MongoDB Atlas and, and other services like that. Well, we have to consider the data protection for the whole application. So K10 has the ability to not only protect those stateful sets inside the cluster, but also the external data services as well that are in the, in the PaaS. But equally, if it's a virtual machine, databases are difficult to move, right? So a lot of them st stay on that virtual machine and we still need to protect them as well because they're hard to re-architect. They're hard to change. 